I know people don't care that much about movies, and it seems like every movie everywhere is a corporate slog, and there are no original ideas, and so many things are interfering with art, that every movie is broken, and corporate monopolies are ruining the medium. And people seem to think the MCU is falling apart, Doctor Who has been ruined, Star Wars is shattered, and there hasn't been a musical or a fun-loving movie in a long time. YouTube is a shit show, and every government in the world is getting more conservative and cruel. And everyone feels like life is hopeless and broken, and the world is doomed. We don't matter, nothing we do matters, and we're all so alone. But this movie has given me hope. It's been a long time since I started bawling during a movie before the sad stuff happened, when I actually feel the theme almost subconsciously. But this movie is everything I ever wanted. And it's got a gay character integral to the plot. And their gayness is part of it, but not the only thing about their character. It has an interesting lead I've never seen before. And it's so absurd. It's a masterpiece with the most important message we all need to hear now. It's an existential dream. A really good one. When it takes the multiverse and makes meaning out of it, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. A few weeks ago, or maybe it was months, when I saw Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness in theaters, I was so disappointed. I built up so much hype, hoping to be blown away. And yeah, there was a lot of epic shit in it. Doctor Strange makes a cape out of corpses. It was awesome. But this movie actually surprised me. I put off watching it for weeks, but now... I know it was just because I wasn't meant to see it yet. It hit me at the perfect time. And Doctor Strange didn't. When I rewatched Doctor Strange, it was fine. But in theaters, I was so bored and disappointed. And I never get bored in movies. This movie takes the idea of jumping between multiple realities and actually uses it. It uses it to tell a story about soul-crushing nihilism turned into heartwarming existentialism. It's a masterpiece, and you should watch it. I know I'm overhyping again, but it's a good movie. And its themes of love and kindness over loneliness and numbness are something that resonates with me heavily. I can tell you, this is now one of my favorite films of all time. It's up there with Luca, Pirates of the Caribbean, Easy A, and Click. As a movie, it made me feel. Some movies are great, but other movies, important movies, are personal. The kind of movie that really resonates with you on a personal level. The kind of thing that touches on the right themes at the right time and makes you transcend. A movie that touches your soul and heals your mind. This is another one of those movies for me. But what do I know? The other movies on that list for me are Shrek, Accepted, Big Daddy, and get him to the Greek. Movies that aren't exactly critical darlings. You never know what movie will be your favorite. So it's important to watch new stuff and to not let it fly by. So you should watch this movie. It's a movie where a woman uses her pinky to do martial arts, has a lesbianic romance scene while having hot dogs for fingers, turns into a rock, and helps a man become ratatouille with a raccoon. Anyway, I'm Aloni the Bard. This video was from the depths of my heart and my soul. Bye. Man, this was a last minute one. I just threw this one together. I literally just watched the movie and I just loved it so much I had to record something. Even the imagery of the movie where the the bad guy symbol is a is a bagel. It's like a circle with nothing in it. It's emptiness. That's why it's a bagel. And the fact that the mom's symbol is like the symbol of goodness is a googly eye, which is the exact same image, but with more meaning. It's a hole, but you put meaning in the hole. It's existentialism. And it's beautiful, and it's the greatest metaphor I've ever seen. And the line, I. <laughs> the line where she says, I put everything on a bagel. And it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's such a good movie. You should watch it. It's fun. I loved it. I'm rambling. Watch it. And if you don't watch it, that's fine. But uh, I loved it. I loved it so much. Anyway. Do 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 bagels yeah bagels 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 yeah 
I love everything bagels. That's why I love the movie. No other reason. Ha <laughs> ha